everyone, welcome back to Idolize Makeup Tutorial Channel. So since I began my Batman series, one of my friends has been begging me to do a Bane mask. And there has been many versions of the Bane mask done as a makeup look. And probably one of the most famous would be the one done by the incredibly talented Made You Look by Lex. But because I'm doing the Batman series, I definitely wanted to do my own version of the Bane mask. So today I'm going to show you how to do this look inspired by Bane. Let's get started. Okay, first I'm taking my light grey face paint and I'm spritzing it with a little bit of water to activate it. And then I'm taking a thin brush and drawing the entire outline of the Bane mask. Now this look is hard to explain in a tutorial just because it's quite difficult to explain each of the shapes. So I do recommend having a photo of the Bane mask in front of you, which you can use to replicate the shapes of Bane's mask. Once I've applied the outline, I'm taking a slightly bigger brush and filling in the whole inside area of that outline using that same light grey face paint. Make sure to completely cover your lips as well and get the face paint as even as possible. Okay, next I'm taking my white face paint from Merin and spritzing it with a little bit of water. And then I'm taking a very small thin brush to start applying the detail of the mask. So once again, using your photo as a reference because it is quite difficult for me to explain every single little shape. Apply pretty much all the shapes that you can using this white face paint, including any nuts and bolts and pipes that you can see on the mask. Oh yeah, looking pretty good at this point. I kind of feel like I have an upside down mustache. And then when I add in these little bits on my chin, I kind of feel like I look like a really wise wizard. Okay, and next I'm taking my black face paint also from Merin and spritzing it with a little bit of water. And then I'm using a very thin brush and going around all the edges of the mask, as well as in between each of those little details that we've just drawn on. I'm also just referencing my photo and adding in any detailing that was black. It's a good idea when you're doing this part to wipe your brush clean in between each section just to avoid dragging any of that white face paint. At this point you can also use that black face paint to add a little bit of shading on the end of the nose in between each of those shapes. And also at the very top of the forehead, taking the black into your hairline as far as you would like to take it. Next, I'm taking this dark grey eyeshadow from Madame Glam, and I really love using this one for a lot of different looks when I'm doing shading. It almost goes on like a liquid and it's really easy to use. And once you've applied it, it just stays in place. Madame Glam have been nice enough to give me a discount code for you guys to use if you would like 10% off any of their products, and I will leave that one in the description box below. So I'm applying this one to the top of my forehead and shading downwards, and I'm then adding shading to each of the pipes and bolts and nuts, just to make them look more realistic and more metallic. I'm then taking a little bit of my white face paint and dragging it through the black face paint on the cheek areas of the mask. This is going to make them look like they have a little bit of shine to them. Lastly, I'm adding in some very small little dots across the lip area of the mask. This is so that Bane can talk through his mask, so I'm just going to call this the speaking holes area. Okay, and there's our completed Bane from Batman makeup tutorial. Okay, I totally used Dub Smash for that voice. I cannot do the Bane voice. Have you guys tried to do it? If not, try it. It is insanely difficult. <laughs> I feel like this makeup looks so funny when I smile. Okay, so if you enjoyed this look today, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know which look you would like to see next for my Batman series. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you would like updates on all my weird new videos. I do two new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next tutorial. Bye, Adalizers. And don't forget, weird is wonderful. <laughs> that was my incredibly bad attempt at a Bane voice.